In this retreat, we will be diving deep into the mystery of silence and belonging. The retreat will include visiting many of the very powerful sacred sites in Glastonbury. We've been granted access to the Chalice Garden. We've also been granted access to the White Spring, whereby we will do a very powerful purification ceremony. The White Spring is the closest molecular structure we have to living light on the planet and bathing in the white spring is extremely activating and cleansing for all of your energy systems. We will be visiting Glastonbury Abbey and holding ceremonies there and also Glastonbury Tour. We will be facilitating ceremonies to reinstate the high feminine codes back into this sacred portal. And that is exactly what is needed at this time to bring balance to the patriarchy. The reinstatement of the divine feminine codes will enable us to activate a full and complete Heros Gamos ceremony within each of us individually who are drawn to take part in this retreat. You are invited to come forward and be part of this extremely important ceremony in the heart chakra of the world, Glastonbury Abbey. We are waiting for you. We are waiting to welcome you home to the heart chakra of Gaia in order to assist you on the next stage of your own evolutionary process. The retreat will be primarily focused around initiating a ceremony of belonging for each individual who is part of the retreat. And you will be asked individually to come forward and be held in a sacred circle and all the other members of the group will sing your soul song back to you. All dis-ease in the body, in the mind and in the heart has been formed from the belief of separation, from the belief that I don't belong. This retreat promises to address this core issue that has affected and is affecting all of humanity and that is the restoration of the codes of belonging within yourself. That you may transform your ancestral lineages, that you may transform your DNA patterning, so that they will be upgraded with these new earth programs and vibrations. You are being called home to the sacred Isle of Avalon. You will be so welcomed upon your arrival. Namaste. Namaste, brothers and sisters. This is Jen, and um, I've just finished uh, the Valentine's Day transmission and it was so amazing it was so powerful actually I'll just make I'll just get you I can just say namaste brothers and sisters um, it was so amazing it was so powerful and um, yeah it was oh my god it was like heart medicine like proper heart medicine and my heart now is is in a state of um, like expansion like some something's been activated in my heart right now and it's yeah, like like fertilizer, like pumping out this really intense fertilizer for the heart. It was so strong, brothers and sisters. And whoever wants to, um, you know, you can still receive the transmission. Like even though 144 people signed up to do it, 
um, you know, there was loads of people didn't watch it live, they're going to be watching it later. So you can still get it. It's absolutely off the charts. Amazing, brothers and sisters, this transmission of like, and what we did was we cleared the, the residues of doubt. We cleared doubt, basically. And for a lot of the Divine Feminine, um, this whole issue of doubt has been has been a big sort of like filter to her really really stabilizing on her union timeline. So that's what we did. We 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 worked with that energy of doubt and we cleared it, and, um, and which is huge. And then we activated the faith codes, like like you know like living in the third dimension. It, our faith has been challenged, hasn't it? It's been well challenged. And so we had to do an upgrade and we had to actually activate the faith codes and that's what we did. So brothers and sisters, if you want to come forward and like come and like, you know, do this and sign up and be part of this absolutely amazingly phenomenal upgrading work, please, please get in touch and come and join this tribe, this amazing family, this soul family, this community that's, that's you know, um, being created through this through this transmission work and even though I'm the messenger I get honestly like you I get so much from it because I listen to it like a few times I received the transmission a few times so um yeah so basically I'm also like it's for me as well and it massively assists with my own evolutionary like trajectory or like you know evolution so basically I've just done the transmission it was absolutely amazing and I feel so expanded like I feel so deeply deeply expanded right now that I got I was called to pull some cards and then as I was pulling them I was like no actually I think I'm just going to do like a, a mini reading for the collective like a Valentine's Day reading because we've just done such huge epic work so I just I'm really really interested to see what the cards um, would like to say and the message the Valentine's Day message but obviously, you know, this is this is not just about Valentine's Day. It's Shiva Archery as well. We're working with the energies of Shiva Archery. And this is so powerful for the healing of the collective masculine. This is absolutely huge. So we're in that gateway. And then also we've got the solar eclipse. So this is a really, really massive. So let's just let us begin. Let us begin to just take a moment, whoever's watching this, to just... Pour your energies into the cards because we're going to bring through a mini message about the, the energies, the current collective energies that are um, being played out currently on Gaia at this time. And my, my, okay, interesting. and sisters you see that you see what that card is that card is the twins oh my golly we call it the card of the twins right so that is the overriding energies of the reading and we've pulled out well four cards have come for the divine masculine which is interesting one card for the divine feminine these are the current message that the uh, the collective wants us to see the king of swords okay god that's divine feminine Let's just tune in. Let's just tune in about that now, brothers and sisters. So, like, yet again, the message of this card is, is stressing the importance of having a spiritual practice. That one, something to work with, with some practice to help you to stop identifying with your temporary thoughts, emotions and sensations. Because that is exactly what the energy of the King of Swords is all about. It's about it's about a person who has reached mental clarity and and order and has a very very clear mind. And so, this is this. I, I think the fact that it's placed in the position of the Divine Feminine shows to me that the Divine Feminine yet again we are being shown that the Divine Feminine is is very very highly evolved and has done a lot of work. I mean, if she's if she's resting at the vibration of the King of Swords, it means that she's she's very 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 like she's 
she's in that vibration of union where she of, of wholeness so it's a, it's a very very good omen the fact that we've pulled this card in the in the divine feminine position because like you know it's all a reflection so whatever the divine feminine is experiencing that is that is assisting her divine masculine to now really really step up now and find his well to prioritize spiritual mastery spiritual mastery attaining spiritual mastery has got to become the priority for everyone on the ascension path and, um, and and so in order to attain spiritual mastery, you need a spiritual practice and you need to like basically realize that you are the guru, you are the light, you are the angel, you are the teacher, you are the guide, you are the way shower, you are the embodiment of God. And like there is absolutely no guru outside of you because there's no one higher than you. We are all equal. It's all an illusion. Like, and, and never, ever, ever give your power away to anyone or anything because you are God. And and that's what, and there's this big, massive thing going on with the collective consciousness right now. And obviously, Spirit wants me to speak about that. And it's really, really come to my attention that there's a lot of, been a lot of um, abuse uh, taking place within a lot of spiritual teachers in the so called inverted commas in, um, spiritual um, communities. And, um, you know, and really, really, quite frankly, I'd like to I'd like to sit down and have a have a proper satsang and a darshan with with, with certain, these certain brothers who are behaving in a very very abusive way, and you know, but so there's this big massive energy that this is being cleared, but it needs to be spoke about because, like, it, it's like yeah, of course, like you know. Typical, the, the toxic masculine of power, of just like greed and need for like power and control is just absolutely overwhelming, even at, if at the root your, your, me, your message is pure and beautiful, but how, how quickly that um, power corrupts the divine masculine. This is what is being really massively exposed at the moment, brothers and sisters. So it's all to do with the, the wounding of the divine masculine. This, yeah, it's all being exposed. So yeah, the, the divine masculine have, have like been shits really, you know, not all of them at all times but certainly that there is there is this element of where you could say that the divine masculine has, has gone into an absolute fury of forgetfulness and it's tragic that these people um, are, are the ones that proclaiming to be the enlightened it's absolutely it's, it's so sad but the thing is everyone like you don't need a guru you don't need a guru brothers and sisters you are g u r u g i am me like you know so uh, really really important message that we're bringing this through that like you are the guru there's no guru like god made us all equal if god made us all equal how on earth can there be like there can be guides and there can be way showers and there can be like you know helpers along the way no one's saying that's not possible and of course that's possible but you like you are sovereign you are sovereign just just remember that. If you just don't remember anything else, just remember you are sovereign. And so you cannot give your power to any person because they will they will like screw it up and like clearly they are and clearly they have. So just don't do it. Don't do it. If you're watching this video, you've got a guru, I'd like I don't know, like anyway. Yeah, stand your ground, stand your ground, if it, whatever's going on, there's a lot of massive things, massive exposure going on now within the, within the shadow divine masculine. And for myself, I, you know, personally am feeling called to take a moment in this reading to um, send out a healing for the spiritual teachers that are actually causing a lot of a lot of trauma and a lot of abuse in, in this so-called spiritual enlightened communities. I would like to um, just take a moment for us all to really, you know, like hold space for that wounded aspect of the of the shadow masculine. And, and it's that it's like that beastly aspect that just like is, is starving, is so insecure, so desperate and like obsessively neurotically like obsessed with power like it's part of the beast so it's okay so yeah for myself I, I feel even though I feel the most profoundest like disgust and and like outrage to with what I'm hearing about currently in this particular astrological transit whatever there is that's going on that's bringing up this whole exposure but um, yeah, I'm just like really, really seeing that, that this is the time now. This is the potential time for us to actually 
call in that part of the wounded masculine. And I, I know in my heart I hold forgiveness to that to that part, to these teachers that I, you know, that somehow I've, I've, I have a connection with. And I see them as their little boy who has just lost the plot. So I think all of us need to really, really in this, in this gateway, like step up now and, and hold that forgiveness in our heart, hold that vibration of forgiveness and just pray that the Divine Mother can um, come forward to these brothers um, and like intervene now to heal them on a very, very deep and profound cellular level. And may they be guided to the right, exactly the right healers and teachers and like, you know, um, way showers that will be able to uh, enlighten them. Praying for that now, for all these, all these brothers and sisters that hold power on, you know, particularly with other, with regards to influencing other people's thoughts and what, what have you, it's like may, may, may you all be purified now and you are forgiven, you are forgiven, I forgive you and I ask you now, you know, like uh, find that in your heart, I found that in my heart to forgive these brothers even though I see so clearly what is going on and somehow with that alchemy we can we can transcend and for myself like just you know carrying on sending mother mary the divine mother energies to these to these brothers to really really hold them in in these times where things are getting wild and out of control i hear me brothers and sisters so this is what's going on this is the message so yeah we had to talk about this so yeah this is the happy romance valentine's day message oh. <laughs> Twin flames, okay. <laughs> right, what is the divine masculine? Okay, right, there's a big massive battle going on that he, he, he's feeling the divine feminine. Oh, golly gosh, he's feeling the divine feminine. He can't get he can't get her out of his mind. So there's a battle going on. So it's the it's the fire. It's like it's like the um, it's like disappointment. He's like he's like, what have I done? What have, oh my god, I'm in a right old tiz was here, you know. Like that's the card. He's like, you know, what have I done? What have I done? And um, like, do you know what I mean? And um, that's the first card that's come out in the reading. And um, what's going on here? Oh yeah, King of Swords, yeah, that goes there, right, that's there, and we have got the Empress, oh my god, well, that's pretty epic, then, we, you know, on top of all that, that's, we've got the Empress, so, obviously, like, he's, he, he knows, he's, he's really, really is aware now, like, we wouldn't have pulled the Empress card, in fact, the Empress card flew out, so, that's, that's a message, actually, of for the Divine Masculine, yeah, it's massive, like, massive, big messages for the divine masculine for them to connect with the divine mother this is what the energy of this card is about and this is for the divine our divine counterparts that there's a big healing going on with the divine masculine and that they are connecting with the divine mother and so expect that to be going on within their field at the moment and this is a really really necessary part of our spiritual evolution and then this this card is like he's gathered up all these bits and bobs and he's like you know what you know what brothers and sisters he's like I did what I could and things don't look too catastrophic so I think I'm gonna like you know go and build build something that is more more everlasting oh they just flipped they just flipped so I'm being I'm being guided to pull a clarifying card so I shall for this one balance Wow, this is all really, really good. So the message I'm getting from these cards, quite frankly, is that the divine masculine is in a healing gateway. I mean, look at that. That's pretty. Look, that's healing vibes. So um, this is all really, really good. I think. I think we all just need to be very conscious. We need to send lots and lots of love to the divine masculine. And um, divine masculine, you just focus on the fact that you know that you've been fed this bullshit conditioning that you know you're basically a man when actually the fact of the matter is you are the trinity you you are the divine mother the divine father and the divine child and that is who you are that's who i am that's who we all are so you've been duped like you are the divine the divine mother is within you and she exists within your tone she exists within your heart consciousness and it's perfectly within your um your birthright for you to access um 
and, and speak to your own little boy from that consciousness of the Divine Mother within you. In fact, that is where the, your mastery lies, Divine Masculine. That is where your healing lies. And this is what all this message of this card is about, because we're talking about the Divine Masculine's healing with the Divine Feminine. And this has to be within himself. And we're, we're, we're wondering, well, how on earth does the Divine Masculine connect with the Divine Feminine within himself? That could appear to be somewhat abstract. But the, the message is, is that you find that vibration of the mother within you in the way you speak, in the tone of your voice, in the way that you communicate to God's beloved son or daughter that you are. Because God gave you, parental you, big you, the duty to look after his precious eternal child. And so that is why the Trinity was created. So that you would care for the child within. Through remembering that you are the mother and you are the father. You are the Trinity. Do you know what I mean? This is what this gateway is all about now. The Divine Masculine are going through a massive healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I feel like getting my guitar out. <laughs> and now we shall pull a card to bring it all together. Because we did say that this wasn't going to be a very long reading. This is a quick gen, in and out, shake it all about. What's this one? The Four of Earth. Such a beautiful card, wow. And this one. Oh. Wow, such a beautiful card. We pulled these two at the end, wow. The Four, four is a very, very important number in terms of the physical and earthly manifestation of one's destiny. Four is a very important number, as we all know. So we've pulled out the four here, which is indicative of that, of the dream manifesting. Like This is the energy of, like, it's coming into, it's coming into physicality. And the fours, it's not like it's, like, necessarily the nine, where it's not, like, there, but it's, it's coming into physicality. So, and then the next card that we've pulled is the call, and for myself, this is very clearly saying, well, look how beautiful that card is. I mean, it's stunning. To me, that card is saying, like, fear not, fear not, brethren. You have a destiny to, to be in union with your true, true love. That is your destiny. And that destiny is connected to all the signs and all the synchronicities that, that are, you know, bombard your field on a, on a day to day basis. <laughs> Try and get it working all. Do you know what I'm saying? Brothers and sisters, yeah, so that's it, that's the message, and um, yeah, it's just like, can not see this, this as well, I don't have the rainbow, the, the unicorns in the shot, probably, I have the card. I love that card. I love that card. That's so beautiful, isn't it? It's like your destiny is sealed. Our destiny is sealed. And it's sealed by the angels and the elemental beings. Like, look, this is very, very elven. We've been really working. These colours are very elven. We've been really working with the elven realms. And these, the elemental beings, are guardians of our destiny and guardians of the, yeah guardians of our destiny and the 
um, the templates and the and the promise that that we made to ourselves to complete. Like that's what the twin soul journey is. It's like it's about completion. Like when you unite on all planes of consciousness with your twin soul, your actual actual vibrational, you know, like. That is so, that is such so, like for your soul that is such a completion, isn't it? Like, so it's really so beautiful for us to look at it in this way and to have that higher perspective. And I've been going um, kind of like for myself and my own spiritual journey. I've never been one necessarily to be influenced by any any doctrines or anything outside of myself because at a very 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 young age. I found like the purest kind of like sort of like endless ocean of Mary's nectar sort of like and I, and I was drinking from that stream from age 21 and so for, for that like I would, I would never ever ever like drawn to any other sort of anything really because I, I always know know that like that my truth is absolute like basically I'm like my, I know my truth is absolute what what, what can you do <laughs> But, so I've kind of like been like that a lot of my life and then, but up until last week and, I, and then suddenly I come across this amazing, and I've heard, always heard about it obviously, but, um, you know, like, like hermeticism like, and how like, you know, the foundation of hermeticism is the fact that we are twin souls. And like, and these, these are like scriptures that were written in like, you know, at least by like 1 AD, 3 AD. And um, it's all about the origins of the soul, and it's all about the truth about you know uh, the fact that like we we are created as as masculine and feminine in poly, like as as you know that that is how we are created as souls, and all this information has been like uh, it's what all, it's what all the secret societies know. They know this. They know all about this. So yeah, we're unveiling the mysteries. We're unveiling the mysteries, and it's and that's because it's time. So for myself. Um, going forward, I think that what we'll do is we'll pull one more John Holland because we've got to, got to love a John Holland, haven't we? Um, just get one more card. Power. That one came up last week as well. Oh, this one as well. I love this card. I really feel this is a deep card, you know. Is it? like have faith have faith brothers and sisters have faith have faith if you are on this path if you feel that knowing that and that absolute knowing that you are already in union with your you know with your divine counterpart then then it is so and and know that to be true and this gateway is all about is all about really like you know us stepping up in our power stepping up in our power yeah and um, and just uh, claiming that you know claiming our mastery through through the knowing of our imagination, you know. Because if you if you like if I say to you now, visualize sucking a lemon. See now you, your mouth's watering probably. Because our 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 minds do not know, know the difference between visualizing it, imagining it, and, and actually doing it. Our minds don't even know the difference. So that's what we need to take away from all this, is that is that our mind doesn't know the difference. So our imagination is so incredibly powerful. This is what the message of this card is all about. It's about power. It's about use the power of your imagination now to know and experience that your union has actualized on all planes of consciousness because it is being safely, safely guarded over by the um, by. Um, I'll just see in this their interpretation. In this tarot, um, what it is, I need to trust that word. Wow, interesting. No, that hasn't really given us any clues. I mean, for myself, it's a major arcana, and to me, it is definitely about, um, like, like the it's to do with the activation of the faith codes. I think for all of us that did the transmission, this is quite a powerful card because we activated the faith codes and somehow the colours in this card seem connected to that. 
And so I, th I believe that there is massive, massive things going on um, for, the, for the collective ascension. And we are doing huge work, brothers and sisters. We really, really are. We're doing epic work for the collective. And I'm so, true, I'm so deeply and truly grateful to all of the souls that signed up for the Valentine's Day transmission. Like, oh my God, that was such an unforgettable experience of my life to have that to experience that was absolutely oh that will always always be with me and um i'm like i am absolutely so humbled to walk this journey with you especially for those of us that gather in this in this on uh, like online sort of growing sacred community conscious super high vibing community so yeah, so yeah, the membership's open, and I'll hopefully put this out tonight. This is Valentine's Day. I've just done the transmission, and I was inspired to make a video. And um, yeah, so that's it, really, brothers and sisters. And um, so yeah, if you want to sign up, I'll, I'll I'll make the link available, and it's on Facebook. But if you if you're not on Facebook, I can just send it to you because I'm downloading it right now. So it's all good. It was amazing. Clear some doubt. Clear deep doubt in your cellular being. And, um, and activate those faith codes. Woo, full power. Woo! It was like that. It is like this. We're all feeling like this, like that. Whoa, we're always like flying, flying.